So you flush the toilet and it's backing up in your shower. Hmm. Okay, so let's not freak out and call the plumber just yet. Uh, that plumber is going to charge us uh, two to five hundred dollars, depending on where we live, to snake out the line. Uh, we don't necessarily need that. Let's let's just take a minute and understand how our bathroom is plumbed plumbed together. Most people are surprised to find out that the toilet, the bathtub slash shower, the sink is all connected to one main drain line that goes out to the sewer at the street or the septic tank as the case may be. That line also, that uh, pipe goes all the way up through your roof. The uh, uh, stacks that stick out at the top of your roof are called plumbing stacks. The reason why that's there is because this system cannot operate in a vacuum. It needs air to be able to be introduced into the system so that water can flow and drain the way that it's supposed to drain. Now, the fact that when we flush the toilet, it's showing up in our tub or in our shower is telling us that the, the clog is not in the toilet and it's not in the tub or shower, that it's further down the line beyond where the two connect to the main drain line. Um, so what's happening is when we flush the toilet, that water is coming down. It can't go down the main drain line, so it chooses the path of least resistance, and it comes up over in the bathtub or shower. Uh, incidentally, so you know, this uh, uh, stack vent on your roof is a beautiful access for snaking a clog that may appear here rather than trying to come in and make all these corners and turns uh, through the, the toilet or the uh, tub or shower. Uh, we can come in straight down through the top. Uh, and at some point I'll do a, a video on, you know, snaking uh, the plumbing lines um, from various locations. But in any event, let's go see what we can do about this. Like I said, no need to call a plumber just yet. Uh, uh, nine times out of ten, we can we can solve this problem on our own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use gravity and the weight of water alone to see if we can bust that clog loose. We're going to turn on the hot water in the shower. And if we have to, we're going to fill it up as much as we can with water and let that sit and let the weight of the water see if it can affect that clog. Okay, I did let it fill up a bit and then all of a sudden it started to drain. Now let's see how we're doing here. Yep, it's draining. The second thing we would have done if, if uh, it hadn't broke free, hadn't broken free, is we would have turned the water off, let the water, having filled up uh, as much as we can in there, to put, get as much weight of water working in our favor. Then we would take hot water and pour it into the toilet bowl, and we would... Uh, uh, fill it up as much as possible and uh, let the weight of that water as well and the force of gravity push against that clog and nine times out of ten uh, with the water in the shower and the water in the toilet uh, that clog will bust free on its own you can walk away and come back 20 minutes later and it's all done drained out and working again and in the event that it doesn't you can take a plunger and you can work the toilet and you can also take a plunger and you can work the drain in the shower and uh, so that's just a little something to know thanks for watching